How's it going guys? My name is Graham, welcome to Two Left Thumbs. You're watching a video promoting the Patreon for Sock Pop Collective, a group of indie game developers who for the last year and a half have been releasing two game jam style games every month. If you want to be a part of it and support them, you can get access to those two games per month for as little as $3 over on their Patreon. There's a link down below to their Patreon page, you can go and pledge there. There's also a link to their itch.io page where you can buy the individual games for $3. Also, in case you want to put it off until the end, the end card at the end of this video is also going to be a link to their Patreon page. Page. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the- This is Fishy, a game that was directly inspired by the old Fishy, the old Flash game made by X-Gen Studios. One of my all-time favorite Flash games, basically the simplest concept of all time. You're a small fish, you eat bigger ones, you get bigger, you eat bigger fish. I remember like the first time that I ever wrapped that game, you become a fish just the size of the entire screen and it took me so damn long and I was so happy about it. Such a simple game, but so satisfying. I think it's so awesome to like revisit that concept and, and expand upon it, especially when it's the Sock Pop team doing it. Because you just know they're going to give it like the love and attention it deserves. And I'm, I'm already a big fan of the music. I'm trying to isolate this tiny little purple guy to, to nibble on him. Come on, come on, get back here. Get right into my fish lips. Oh, oh, I actually have to eat it. Can I eat the thing that told me how to eat? Yum. There's going to be such a, a strong temptation to go hum, hum, hum every single time I eat one of these teeny tiny fish. Ah, oh, quickly, while they're all bashing off of each other, that'll be a perfect opportunity to munch, munch fish. Oh, come on, they're so sneaky. They're, they're much sneakier than the, uh, the original fishy. It's very hard to track them down. But the game is more forgiving. You could bump into larger fish and not die. You couldn't touch anything bigger than you in the other one or else you were done for. Oh, I got you isolated. The predator has found his prey. I, I ate a different one that I wasn't even going for. I assume that doesn't happen maybe in the world of fish and like insects where things exist on the scale of like thousands. But I don't think it happens very often where like a wolf is hunting, hunting a pack of deer, and you just incidentally eat the wrong deer, and you're like, oh, good enough. That's not the one I was going for, but a meal's a meal. Oh, yes. Okay, actually opening and closing your belt is very satisfying. Um, 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 um. <laughs> in, in, like, a Bio 101 level class at university. Like, that was the essential scale of it. Um, we had to dissect a fish. You had to dissect a few things. A fish happened to be one of them. Oh, you get a little boost. Zed is a little boost for, for, for munching things. That's good to know. That makes it so much easier. Oh, I just got a fun idea. I just want to see what happens if you boost yourself up and out of the water. That's awesome. That's fun. That's like Dolphin Olympics, another great Flash game. Anyways, you have like a partner in lab, someone that you're supposed to do the labs with. Oh, this is making things a lot easier. And she was just having a particularly bad day, and we had just finished dissecting the fish, and its head was existing separate from the rest of the fish. And we had to use scissors to cut up the fish, and I put the scissors inside of the fish's head and like used the scissors to make the mouth do that. And it got a pretty good laugh. Looking back on it, it's kind of a sick, twisted thing. I feel like it was more of like a what am I seeing right now kind of laugh. But that's immediately what I think of. As I'm sharing that story, it makes me sound like a psycho. So I, <laughs> so I started to regret sharing it. But I was like, ah, you had to be there, I guess. Maybe, maybe that's the type of story it is. It's a you had to be there story. And then it doesn't make... If you saw it, I, I I don't come across like anywhere near as big of a maniac. Maybe. Guess that's not really for me to decide then, is it? Oh, I like the ones where you get more than one at a time. I see that you can like zoom around. Can you like eat these planktons or uh, vegetation along the bottom here? It doesn't really seem to be. I can try and bully that guy away from his though. This is so relaxing. The fact that it's just kind of like a small little skill test rather than an insane, panicked, uh, chaotic mess of- Oh, I don't- I don't want to end up in the jar. Of like, touch anything and you're dead and you start over from scratch. Makes the- makes the experience a lot more casual. Oh, I ate the big fish. I like how these guys barely even count- they like don't even count as fish. They don't get eyes or any distinct features or anything whatsoever. Oh, come on. I want to get every single one. 
just chucked another fish into my little pond here. It's my pond. I've, I've staked my claim at this point, I would say. I, I feel that it, I'm worthy of calling it my own. These things divide now and again. They just became slightly smaller there. Oh, I probably have to become big enough by consuming everything here in order to, like, push the cork out of this? Oh, you can totally do it! All right, I don't need to go to that area just yet, but that was still very satisfying to do. That other jar existing there kind of acts as, like, a small way for the game to let you know. Hey, by the way, these corks come out. <laughs> I'm trying to do a little bit of, like, fish out of water. That, like, getting over it style game. I feel like I'm including a game within a game here. All right, little fish. I'm coming for ya. Time for me to move my way up the food chain. By jamming an entire fish into my fat, greedy fish mouth. Aw, oh, come on, so close. <laughs> Maybe it's not that close. I don't think fish are supposed to uh, eat like snakes where you fit like your entire prey into your mouth. It's uh, not really how digestion or anatomy works. In most ways, it is it is a flawed approach. Coming straight at something from the bottom does feel a little bit like Jaws, though. That's very satisfying. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a Jaws move. Oh, he got away. Oh, come on. He's just barely too fast. He's a slippery one. Slippery as a fish, they say. <laughs> Maybe I'm better off moving on to something like this. Oh, yeah, I'm, I might as well move over to the area where there's, like, a lot more going on. I'll be able to eat a lot more, <laughs> a lot more quickly. And, uh... Oh, is he? Did I just watch this guy eat one of those? Ooh, hey, everyone's hiding down here. Yeah, they're they're actually eating each other and, and growing bigger. Well, I'm gonna eat the one that's eating all the other ones. Who cares about bioaccumulation? Mercury poisoning? Not a problem. All I'm caring caring about is getting snacks. It's like a turducken, but it's fish, fish, and uh, more fish. It's like if you just stuck a bunch of fish into each other. Much less exciting overall, I would say. Hey, someone someone took a nibble out of the the worm there. I was seeing if I could. It seemed like a dangerous move, like something I probably shouldn't do, but I was so tempted. I'm guessing. Oh god, that guy just I think he actually just got caught. That fish might have actually gotten uh taken away there. I probably shouldn't be trying. I shouldn't be trying to to hook myself there. I just I'm curious. I want to know what happens. You get you die is what happens. I'm I'm guessing you get caught and hauled up above water and never to return. These small little schools of fish kind of bisect each other. There goes another one. And when they run into each other like that, it makes it a lot easier to get numerous morsels at once. I feel like Shang Tsung, but I'm a fish instead. Puny morsels. Oh, that was, yeah, it seemed, seemed too good. Like I wasn't gonna be able to. This is kind of cool, the way it keeps injecting new fish into the system, and then it usually introduces them quite small, and then they uh, start eating some of the other smaller things within the system. The the little plankton-y type micro minnow fish swimming around, if they get big enough, they like split. Oh, I want to snatch them out of the air. Uh, but it, it kind of it kind of keeps cycling and, and uh, refilling itself in that sense, so it, it it, it would become very, very difficult without that, because then you would have less and less fish that you can actually target. And so the way target the way the way it keeps injecting new fish into the system means that you're not stuck chasing the one or two remaining fish that are like the appropriate size for you to eat. You got all kinds of snacks. Yes, full on chain of life. Not a circle, because I don't want anything eating me. I don't want I don't want that coming back around to haunt me. <laughs> Staking those sorts of claims that might be the best the best jumping kill I'm gonna get that was that was perfect That was pretty much what I was trying to achieve every other time I swam up from below like that Can I can I take on this big guy? Ah, sometimes when you're heading the wrong direction It's easy to get turned around damn you like moving up versus down is slightly different in terms of how you uh, control yourself using the left and right buttons, and I get I screw it up quite often. Presumably, I get big enough to yank on that little bulb on the anchor, and then that lets me into the new area. Oh, why am I not eating you guys? I knew you were hanging out over here. I might as well just gobble, gobble, gobble. Chew everything up. Oh. 
Maybe I'm big enough to eat this now. Yes, kind of. Maybe I don't actually bite it. I just, I scoop it up into my mouth. Am I strong enough? Oh, so strong. Such a powerful fish. Now we get to go do some cool, like, deep sea stuff. And while I'm at it, before, I, I, I just need to recharge my fuel tanks a little bit before I, before I head on down there. So I'll just chop, chomp, who is the second biggest thing in, in this part of the the ecosystem I think oh man now there's a boat to pick up next what you what you what you these octopuses doing can I eat these guys I don't want this did they just shrink me down I think I'm smaller now they might have shrunk me I think I have to go back now that makes me not want to go back down there till I'm much bigger so I don't I don't fall victim to that again oh I sent that guy flying Gave him, gave him a solid nose bump. I mean, I wish I would have just ate him. That was my true, my true goal. I should just hang out with my mouth open next to the area where things get dumped out of the sewage pipe there, whatever that is. It really doesn't look like something that should be poured into the water. It's probably not good for the habitat. But if I just sit there with like an open mouth here, they might just drop fish right into my gullet. I kind of like that there's no real UI in this. I, in the original fishy game, it kept track of how many fish you've eaten. I don't really, I don't really need that. It might be Marge. Oh, that one, that, there's like one or two in here that are bigger than me, and they keep going after the fish that I'm trying to go after. Uh, it would be kind of nice to know precisely when your speed boost thing recharges, but you can use it pretty frequently. Like, that was me using it as close together as it would possibly let me. Oh, I saw you going hiding down there. Damn it, it might actually work. No! No! <laughs> I keep getting robbed. You better screw this up. No, he swam right into his mouth. That was my chance. All right, I haven't really gone over to this area. I don't know uh, if it's... There, there's at least more of these little things I can try and eat a bunch of all at once. I wasn't sure if there was going to be scary things over here, like the octopuses that just totally messed me up. There's like one lone regular fish that I might as well eat. But what's this? What, happen what happens if I take this out of here? It doesn't seem to actually matter. I'm gonna chuck it down this way in case it's eventually important and eventually needed down that way. I don't know. There's not as much competition over here, so it's a little... Oh, damn, blue fish. So it's a little easier to to clear things out and really like hammer, hammer the, the fish that actually are in the area. I want to be the top. I want to be top dog. Dog fish. Top dog fish. Oh yeah, put yourselves in this little tunnel here where it's nice and easy for me to chew you up. Chase him straight in my mouth. I was able to push that through the pipe and it landed down here. Uh, unclear what good it's it does. Come on, just get into my belly. Just let it happen. Quit resisting, you're being a baby. I'm trying to get truly massive because I don't want to get just destroyed by those octopuses again. I don't even know if you can eat the octopuses. So that, that worries me a little bit. I want to be as big as I can to make it less of a less of a threat. Oh, I'm actually probably too big now to even go back to the, the starting area. I don't think I would be able to fit into this stupid jar. Ah, it doesn't let me. All right, I'm very hesitantly heading back in. Oh God, oh God, no, it was a terrible approach, terrible approach. I, uh, reset. <laughs> I feel like I, I came in at a weird angle and if, a, if an octopus were to, to jump at me at that exact moment, I wasn't gonna be able to get away from it. Okay, he's getting suckered by an octopus. Let's see if it lets me eat it. Eat it? No, it doesn't. But am I, am I like big enough that the octopuses don't want to mess with me anymore? Because that would be just as good. Ah, no, 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 get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Nope, bail, bail, bail. He's, I'm losing so much mass so quickly. Get out of here, dude. No. Swim. Dash away. I'm losing everything. I'm basically, I don't even know. This might be the smallest I've been since, like, the start now. Oh, crap. I like alt tabbed out of the game for a second, and I think I might have actually gotten eaten by one of the blue fish. Oh, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, the blue fish can actually eat you. Damn it. So uh, that's 
That's absolutely what happened. That's very disappointing. You're very fast as a tiny fish, though. You can really dart around. So it makes me kind of want to zip down here uh, while there's nothing... I mean, there are things that can kill me, but I, I, there's less for me to have to worry about. Uh, I could just go try and hide in that little jar. Uh, I do want to know what's under the boat. I am curious about what's, what's down there. Can I go into this little chute? I can. It just doesn't really seem to, to do a lot for me. Come on, just smash, smash your way in there. Just do a little sneaky move. Oh, you can absolutely go into the boat. Only when you're tiny, though, probably, which is kind of funny. Ah, uh, there's no holes in the bottom or anything. That would be super funny if you could, like, scoot your way down to whatever the, the final area is. I guess... I, I don't know if I really... <laughs> want to start over right now. I'm also noticing that the stupid activate windows thing popped back into the corner. It's been a long, very long running issue for me on this stupid computer. I like did the free Windows 10 upgrade thing and then I had to reinstall Windows because of some issues I was having and after I did that I lost my like verified Windows 10 and so it, that shows up all the time and it's very frustrating. So I don't want it there. <laughs> if anyone wants to know what's under the ship, I guess you gotta buy the game for yourself, maybe. There you go. There's a nice incentive for you. <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.